just to give you an idea of the power of this unit. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and the series Cheap Versus Expensive, where we trial some of the more cheaper residential cleaning equipment against some of the more commercial and heavily handed commercial cleaning equipment. So today we're going to be testing out vacuums to see if they're created equal. So let's get into the video. This is a domestic vacuum bought from the range for a cost of around 30 pounds. A typical vacuum that you may use in your home or apartment and good for residential properties. We have vacuum two here, the internationally known pneumatic Henry Pro version. This vacuum costs around 150 pounds to purchase plus that, the staple for most commercial cleaning companies and here we have the tank of all vacuum cleaners, the gutter vac system Predator Pro. This retails at around the 1500 pound mark to 2000 pound, depending on accessories, etc. But this really is the beast of all vacuums. And it'll be interesting to see how they all fare against each other. As always guys, we're always putting out new cleaning content and debunking myths, comparing equipment. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, drop us a like for today. Let's get into the first challenge and see who comes out on top. So we'll start with the domestic vacuum. So we've gave it our first pass, and as you can see at the bottom there, some of the residence hasn't been collected, it's just been pushed along the carpet. My initial thought is the suction feels quite low for a 700 watt machine compared to the Henry, which is actually a 670 watt machine and you'll see the difference with that in a short while but overall not bad for a domestic vacuum let's see how we get on with the pneumatic so we'll go for the same amount of passes as you can see it's lifting the carpet already even though the pneumatic has a smaller motor it has a much larger capacity in terms of its volume has a lot longer lead and clearly from the test it certainly picked up more debris from the mat we have in front of us and even started lifting the mat. Now we're going to bring out the big boy for this test. <laughs> so let's give it a try. As you can see a great amount of suction And just to give you an idea of the power of this unit, speaks for itself. So the first challenge, we tested each of the machines to see how well their motor performs in terms of actual cleaning power on the floor. The domestic vacuum was okay, done a good job, but struggled with some of the bigger pieces. The pneumatic Henry Pro proved a good all-rounder picking up all the units um, that was on the floor and all the debris and even lifted the carpet slightly. The Predator Pro is in a different league, obviously. And as mentioned, it's not something that you would use in a residential or even in an office environment. It is quite noisy and more of a specialist piece of kit. So the winner this round is definitely the pneumatic Henry Pro. So that's challenge one out of the way where we tested the power of each unit. And now we're going to move on to challenge two ergonomics of each machine and what it comes with and how it's designed and the usability. So we'll start with the domestic vacuum. Now on initial unboxing of this unit, you can tell from the off that it is cheaply built. The plastic is quite thin, the cable is like dental floss in terms of its size and I would have some real concerns in a commercial environment, especially where cleaners have a habit of pulling vacuums along by their leads, that this wouldn't last too long. It comes with one accessory, um, which is obviously a crevice tool that most vacuums come with, that then folds out into a brush system. It doesn't fold all the way, so you haven't got it straight. It is at a 90 degree angle. But overall, the build quality doesn't seem fantastic. In a residential setting, this may last you for a year or so, but I suspect you would do well to get much longer out of that. 
And now we move on to the Pneumatic Henry Pro. At first glance, it is a much more sturdy unit. It has a significantly longer cable, much more hard wearing than the domestic unit because obviously it is built for its commercial use. With a 10 meter cable, it comes with a lot more accessories. The um, crevice tool, which is for gullies, maybe some skirting boards, etc. Something that you, you need to get in between. It comes with a, a brush tool that you can also use um, for high level places, etc. removing dust. The famous um, rounded nozzle, this is good for skirting boards and things like that. And it also comes with an extension pole so that you can extend um, said tools for more hard to reach places. As I say, the pneumatic is a lot more sturdy. It is built for a commercial environment, especially the pro version. And that you will generally find nine times out of 10 in my experience, that this will be the go-to unit for most commercial entities when it comes to cleaning. And last but not least, the tank as we call them, the Predator Pro. Built to last, a massive unit. The plastic on the top of the motor is very heavy and thick set and hard wearing for any knocks it may take whilst out and about. The main body itself is a hard wearing aluminium and we also have up to 40 meters of reach with these aluminium poles. So a fantastic unit, well built and built to last. Overall, the winner for today is definitely the Pneumatic Pro. It's a great unit, can be used in commercial and residential, has longevity and is well built. So that concludes today's video guys and another series of cheap versus expensive. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button. We're going to be putting out more content, disbunking some cleaning myths, reviewing some equipment, cheap versus expensive. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.